All right, I'm back for part three of 488 swap in an S13 to 40SX. I'm gonna talk about what you guys are probably most curious on is what axles you run with a 488. So you can buy Mosworth sells axles. I'm pretty sure they're just drive shaft shop axles. Drive shaft shop can make you custom axles. Um, if you don't have money for that or you don't want to spend money on drive shaft shop I axles the first 488 swap i did was i took a 370z axle or you could take a 240sx axle um, and a ford explorer 31 spline axle and i just cut them in half and i welded the ford explorer inner to the 240sx or a 370z outer i used 370z axles as my upgrade they're a lot stronger I'll go over that here in a second, um, but I just got a 4340 chromoly tube that was like 0.25 wall thickness, and I just slid that tube over the 240SX axle, slid the Ford Explorer axle inside that, and I TIG welded those together with uh, this ER, let's see here, see if I can get a shot of that. ERADS D2 filler rod. Um, that car with the Ford Explorer inners and the 370Z outers is making 600 to the wheels. Uh, running sticky tires. She's been running that for two years. No issues. Ford Explorer axles are very strong. 370Z axles are very strong. So that is your cheapest option. Um, again, you can have drag shaft shop make you axles. For mine, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but the Ford Explorer axles are splined like this on both the inner and outer. So if you run Ford Explorer axles uh, to install or remove your control or your axles, you have to pull that whole control arm out, um, that whole knuckle to get the axle out because you need the room to get these splines out of the differential. So on my car, I did not want to do that. I'm hoping to have a couple 488 differentials with a couple different gear ratios so I can swap them out if I want a different gear ratio. And I didn't want to have to pull my whole control arms off to swap the differentials. So on mine, I got G-Force axle stubs. These guys are about $600, five, $600, I think. Um, Drive Shaft Shop sells these again as well for the Ford 88, getting them for the outer side, for your hub side, um, that is a little bit more difficult. Drive shaft shop may be able to sell those to you as well. Again, they're probably like $600 just for the outer axle stubs. Um, so what I am probably gonna do, I've got two options. I'm either gonna take the 370Z axle and I'm going to do the same thing and cut it in half and run this on the outer side for my hub and get Porsche 930 style inner bearings with really strong axles. Um, again, I cut sleeve and just weld those two together and then this would just unbolt with the Porsche 930 bearing flange and that axle adapted. Um, I'll go over that when I get to that step on this build as well. Or my second option is these are 240SX um, R200 diff two 370Z axle conversion hubs. I forgot where I got them. I think it was like TF Works or something like that. Um, I might machine these hubs and get these welded on. I would need a machine shop to do that. And again, these stubs were $600, so I'm not super enthused to cut these up and weld this on there, but if 370Z axles look like they fit factory length with the diff in there, I might go ahead and just have them machine this and weld these guys on there. And then I can just run 370Z axles, which would be really easy. Then I can just go to AutoZone if I break one and grab another one in a pinch. Um, so I'll quickly go over the 370Z outer wheel bearing conversion. So this is a GK Tech drop knuckle. I've also done this on the PVM knuckle as well. And um, so this is currently a 370Z wheel bearing. 
And as you can see, I just had to open up the holes just a little bit to make these bolts line up. Um, and this one, I'd probably have to cut this little piece out, weld in a whole new piece, and then drill a hole, and then just open this hole up a little bit as well. Uh, not too big a deal. On the PBM knuckles, I just opened up the holes in all four corners. Again, that car was running 600 horsepower, and he hasn't had any issues. Um, quick comparison, it'll be kind of hard to see. But as you can tell, kind of like, this is the factory 240SX axle uh, versus the 370Z axle. It, uh, the 370Z is a lot bigger, a lot more splines, way stronger. Other than that, the 370Z and 240SX bearings, um, the distance from the hub flange uh, to the mounting flange is the exact same length. So that doesn't change anything. It won't change your wheel offset. It won't change your brake uh, rotor caliper alignment and bolts right on your splines. All you have to do is just open up these holes and you can slide 370Z hubs right in. So that is part three with the axle question. If you have questions, just put it in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Um, Mozwork sells these uh, Ford 88 diff bushings, which is really nice. It used to come on only part of their kit, but now they sell them separately for $40. I'm having a heck of a time getting these pressed out. I don't have a press here. I just got a big hammer and a socket, and it isn't even making a dent on these things. They are super in there. So I might try and take this diff to a shop in the morning and see if they can press them out for me. If not, for now, I'm just going to run the factory bushings. All right, and stay tuned for episode four. That'll be final install of the diff, and then I'll start working on actually getting the axles going.